Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Wenwu. So really cool, really blessed, got this day. And uh, we got a nice clear view of him in box. And obviously this is going to contain slight spoilers for this character. Um, I feel like most people already have seen these spoilers, but just in case you haven't uh, and you don't want to be spoiled, like don't watch uh, this video. But I will tell you, uh, most of it's already out there and I feel like a lot of people already know. So I will be talking about it further on. On this side, we got some amazing artwork, like the artwork Work on this Shang-Chi series has just been amazing for this Mr. Hyde Bath. Like, look at that. Look how good that looks. Then we have a bio, and I uh, mentions the Ten Rings, which have obviously been a big part of the MCU, starting with Iron Man 1, and I'm so excited to see how they handle them in the film. And then we got the other characters in Wave, and yeah, let's open this up. So, here we have him out of packaging, and as you can see, he looks very good. I love the likeness here on the face. It just looks amazing, and um, really, the scan technology here just looks great. The hair looks really good, too, and um, for accessories, kind of want to show them off real quick. You get this weapon, which I think is a pretty cool-looking weapon. Um, it's got some nice detail. It's got some paint on it, some molded detail. You also get alternative hands. You get two pairs of fisted hands. You get two hands that are like this, and then you also get him using some of his moves in these hands, so uh, that's pretty cool, and just to get a ah, better view of them real quick, you can see there. And uh, moving down the figure, as you can see, we have some nice detailings on here. I love this kind of texture that they did um, here. And then also the blue, it's got all these little designs. You also have this band on here, which is pretty cool. And then some more texture. And then um, this is kind of where it goes into spoiler territory for this character. Um, but he's got the 10 rings on here, as you can see. Um, in the movie, they're going to actually be rings that he wears on his arm, as opposed to rings he wears on his finger. And to be honest, I actually kind of like that. I feel like that's a creative change, and I really like them. And and I like how you can kind of see them on here. Like, I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to be happy with that change, but personally, I don't actually mind it. And I think it's pretty cool. You also have some kind of like detail paddings there. And then on the back here, you have more of that texture and you have this kind of like little line that goes down, which I think is pretty cool. And I love this that he's got going on here, this blue and this white, it kind of mixes kind of like a gray, but it's got some lines in it too, almost looks like letters. It just looks so, so good. And then his boots, I really like the silver detailings on his boots. I think those are really cool. And he's also got those kind of like shoelaces which are pretty cool. But the coolest thing on here is his belt, which actually has the Ten Rings logo on it. And it's very close to what we've seen in the other films as well, and it just looks pretty cool. And I'm really excited to see how they do the Mandarin in this movie. I think there was obviously a lot of disappointments with how he was done in Iron Man 3, so hopefully uh, they do a real good job with this and actually kind of give us the accurate version we're expecting. But in terms of articulation, you got a 360 of the head, you can look up and down, got a good range of movement there actually. 360 of the arms, swing out the shoulder, you got a 360 there, double jointed elbows, which are nice. Um, they're a little stiff, but they do move. And then you got a 360 of the wrist and they're on hinges the legs are actually penniless joints which is pretty cool but um the torso articulation kind of go 360 and up and down and the legs like forwards backwards and outwards you got a 360 there at the side double joint knees the boots rotate and the feet go side to side i believe the boots rotate okay the boots might not rotate i take that back but i would say the articulation is pretty good and um as you can see here's him with his accessory Here's a comparison with Shang-Chi, and it's going to be interesting to see how they do uh, the dad-son-hero-villain conflict in this uh, movie. I don't know if we've ever actually seen that in the MCU. I mean, I guess technically we have with Thanos and Gamora, but still, it's going to be interesting to see. Here's a comparison with Iron Man from the first Avengers movie. Um, would have been really cool to see these two go head-to-head, -head, and kind of sad we'll probably never actually get to see that, but either way, at least they're trying to kind of like fix the mistake in Iron Man Free, and I do like that, and I'm just really excited to see the portrayal of this character in the movie. And lastly, here's a comparison with Doctor Strange from the MCU. And yeah, so overall, I think this action figure is really cool. I think it's a pretty good representation of the actor and just the suit in general. It just looks really neat. Um, I'm excited to see what they do with this in the film. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.